What's up guys, it's Jerome here and I'm back again today with another video. Today I want to talk to you about how you can increase your net worth. That's right, you could be just like Jeff Bezos and own Amazon. Just kidding! Let's face it, none of us are ever going to be that rich. But there are small changes you can make to increase your net worth over the course of your lifetime. Last week we talked about how to pay off your student loans as quickly as possible. This week, I wanna to talk to you about why paying off those loans early is a terrible garbage <laughs> Sorry about that, got a little carried away there. But let's get right into the video. Big shout out to everyone who keeps watching these videos. And if you guys like what I'm doing here and wanna see more videos, please make sure you hit the thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel. The main way to increase your net worth is to let your money do the work for you. You want to be as hands-off as you possibly can and let your money grow while you spend that time doing other things. And this is actually a lot easier than it sounds if you just invest your money in the stock market because of a thing that we've talked about before called compounding interest. Compounding interest is the concept that the interest you earn on your money then accumulates its own interest, which then accumulates its own interest, and then the cycle just keeps going and going and going. Let's do a very quick example. Let's say that you deposit $1,000 in a bank account that gives you a return of 2% per year. After the first year, you'll make $20 and your account will now have $1,020. Now, after the second year, you don't just earn $20 this time, you actually end up earning $20.40 because the total amount that you have in your account is larger than what it was the first year. So that means at the end of the second year, you're actually gonna have $1,040.40. Now, 40 cents doesn't seem like that big of a difference, but over a large period of time, say like 20 years, that's gonna keep accumulating and it's gonna be a huge difference. Now let's use that same concept to show you why you shouldn't pay your loans back early and instead you should invest that extra money into the stock market. I'm gonna use the same examples from the video last week. So if you haven't seen that one yet, click the video link somewhere on this screen, either here or here or somewhere, somewhere on this screen. Click the video link, or if you can't find it there, I'll put it in the description down below too. So go watch that video first. I'll wait. Seriously, go watch it. I'll still wait. Now that you've watched last week's video, let's go ahead and use those same examples. First, let's see what your net worth would be if you paid back your loans as quickly as possible. We're gonna use the same assumptions as last week. So you're gonna be contributing 6% to your 401k and 10% to your savings account. And after all of your expenses, your disposable income comes out to about $2,300 and we're gonna contribute all of that to paying off your loans. Now, after about two years, your entire loan's gonna be paid off. So then you're gonna take your $2,300 and start contributing all of that into the stock market for the next 18 years or however long the loan would have been. Now, just like last week, we're gonna assume that your 401k and your investment portfolio are getting about a 7% return every single year. As for your high yield savings account, my rate that I get right now is about 1.1%, so that's the assumption that I chose to go with. I've defined your net worth here as the sum of your 401k, your savings account, and your investment portfolio. If we calculate your net worth at the end of 20 years, you're expected to have over $1.5 million, which is pretty incredible. But this is where things get a little interesting. Let me show you what happens if you slow down on those loan payments and contribute the maximum amount you can to your 401k and increase your savings account percentage to 20%. If you watched the last video, you know that based on these assumptions, your disposable income at the end of the month is gonna be about $950. So this time, it's gonna take about five years to pay off that student loan. But once you're done paying it off, you're gonna take that $950 of disposable income you had, and you're gonna invest it in the stock market for the remaining 15 years that you would have had that loan for. In this case, you're actually gonna end up with a net worth of about $1,544,000 or about $28,000 more than if you had paid off your loans in two years. 
And the reason this ends up happening is because you're contributing the maximum possible amount to your 401k and your savings account. Like we talked about earlier, that compounding interest is giving your 401k 7% every single year. And whatever money it made is gonna make 7% the next year. So your money just grows way faster than in the first example. But what would happen if we slowed down those payments even more? What about the example where we only used half of our disposable income to pay off our loans? In this example, we're gonna contribute about $475 a month to those loans, and then we're gonna take the remaining 475 and invest it in the stock market. This time, you end up with a net worth of a little over $1,612,000, or about $100,000 more than if you had paid off your loans in just two years. And again, the reason that's happening is because not only are you maxing out your 401k, but you're also investing in the stock market, which is giving you a 7% return every single year from day one. And again, keeping on the same trend, what would happen if you kept that loan for the entire 20 years and contributed that $950 of disposable income all to your investment portfolio from the first day? Well, after 20 years, your net worth would be over $1,758,000 or over $200,000 more than if you had paid your loans off in just two years. And that's just after 20 years. What would happen if we spread that out over your entire career, over 40 years? Well, if you paid off your loans in just two years and then invested $2,300 every single month for 40 years, you'd end up with a net worth of about $7.5 million. But if you kept your student loans for 20 years and invested $950 a month for 40 years, you'd end up with a net worth of nearly $8.3 million. That's $800,000 more than if you had paid your loans off early. So that shows you the importance of contributing to your 401k and investing in the stock market early and while you're still young. So as you can see, if your goal is to increase your net worth, it might actually be a better idea to keep that loan for the full term rather than to pay it off early. Of course, you should always consider your own personal situation. Maybe you wanna keep the loans just for 10 years and then pay it off. Maybe you just really don't wanna have debt in your name and you wanna just pay it off in three. There's no right or wrong answer and really it's just up to you on how you wanna pay off those loans. I just wanted to show you guys the different options there were. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for this one. If you learned something or you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel. Like I've been saying, I really need your help to get to a thousand subscribers. So share this with your friends, have them share it with their friends, have their friends share it with their friends and so on. You get the point, but thank you guys for supporting me and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.